I don't do this kind of stuff, and I don't know why. I feel like I feel like I'm breaking the law or something. Although there's nothing wrong with it, bringing things to the theater right. that you don't buy there, like you know the candy, the popcorn, all that kind of stuff. Check this out. <laughs> Ninja's sister brings what? A pickle. Like you can go to the store and get just a single wrapped giant pickles, and just in the quiet part of the movie, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> One of those big dill type pickles. Like in a, a bag. Whole pickle. Is it like in a bag? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. So my parents took our daughter, Taylor, to the movies when she was little, and she still remembers this. They both brought canned Pepsis. And so again, when it gets really quiet, because that seems to be the only time we can open anything, it they pop the top on so the for Pepsi. Everybody cans. to hear. Um, and she it, was like, oh, my it, goodness. It doesn't seem like to me that they're that strict anymore. I don't feel like there they There was a time, are. like, I, there was a, well, like, when I was younger, if I tried, I would get stopped. And so I just don't do it because I feel like, yeah. I don't know, I feel guilty bringing something. And I, and I shouldn't, but I would feel guilty bringing something into the theater. Well, I feel like they don't rarely check your ticket, much less. Really? <laughs> because you buy your ticket online, and you come in, and they barely... In some theaters, barely look at you I when you go in. I thought they scan them. I don't think all the time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not at hours that we go to. They check don't. out. Here's our other producer, Jake. Check out what Jake brings in. So there was one time, me and a group of friends were seeing this one DC movie, and we definitely weren't going to pay the prices for the popcorn and the candy and stuff. And so at the time, I used to work in uh, Zaxby's, and I just made a custom Zax snack meal, and we got that in the movie theater. <laughs> I wonder if the person, you know, at the very front that did look at your ticket was like, what does that smell? That's, I'm hungry. Yeah, it smells I want zesty. Zaxby's or something. <laughs> Marcy, Marcy. <laughs> she texted and said they went to see Ghostbusters like way back in the day. She and her sister snuck in Wendy's baked potatoes. <laughs> baked potatoes to the theater? <laughs> wow, Marcy. <laughs> was it the sour cream or like the fully loaded one? Because that, that's you, Everybody must have been hungry. Those things smell good. They smell real good. Mm-hmm. Joel texted and said, okay, I went to see The Chosen the other night, and I took jelly beans in, and then I had to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> see? You brought it to The Chosen. <laughs> My wife went with some of the ladies in our small group to go oh. see The Chosen on Saturday. I, now I am waiting for that one because I missed the first couple of episodes in theater, so i got to wait. For the well, whole season. To why spring. do you go away? That's what my husband said. And I was like, no, I want to see it all. He said, you've read the book. <laughs> you know how it goes. And I'm like, yes, that's, I have. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you kind of go to church, right? right? All that other stuff. Here's an open mic that came in on the My His Radio app. When the Humpat the Notre Dame came out, my grandparents took me and my sister to the movie. And my grandmother packed apple juice and animal crackers for me and my sister. But healthy? And you you know what? When you've got little kids, toddlers, little kids, you do have to take some. I really feel like it. Or if you're on a special diet, they don't have gluten-free. They don't have stuff like that. I just I just caught myself saying that animal crackers were healthy. They're not. <laughs> where, I mean, if you where have did one, I get that? 